One of the whole reasons I got into photography was printmaking. I love the print. The way I got into digital imaging was that I'm a control freak. What I wanted to be able to do is to exert maximum control over the images that I produce. And back in 1984, I ended up doing a computer image assignment that was put together by computer. And I put that on the light box and I thought, hmm, this is going to change everything. I realized that I'm known as kind of a technical guru, a printing guru. Really, those are all just means to an end. And the end is the kind of the optimal print that I could possibly make. I was known as a Photoshop abuser. In other words, I would push the envelope to the point where the application would break. And engineers that want to be able to fix bugs and increase the functionality and capability of the application found me a, a willing participant in the whole abuse program. So what I decided to do is to go out and put a digital back on my 4x5 and start shooting, they call it medium format, I would call it high res. Now one of the real challenges that the new printers offer is because of the increased capabilities and the ability for even finer detail that you really need well-prepared files, high resolution, properly sharpened, noise-reduced files to be able to take advantage of these new printers. The amount of resolution and detail is remarkable if you have a big enough capture and enough resolution to start with. So I got into the whole book thing in essence because Bruce Frazier, when he passed away, wanted me to carry on the real world camera raw series. I'm officially a co-author. I'm a professional co-author. I've got three half books. When you think about where we've come from those old Photo EX printers to the Ultrachrome HDR inks, it's remarkable how much better digital printing is than analog printing ever was. I'm a photographer. I'm, a, I'm an equipment junkie and I'm perfectly willing to spend a lot of money on new cameras, new lenses, uh, but the thing is, it really still is all about the print. And the neat thing is that if you got all the camera equipment, it's really not all that costly to get, uh, you know, the best printer out there, which would be the 9900. And as a photographer, investing a lot of money on the capture side uh, in terms of cameras and lenses, it makes sense to invest uh, a modest amount, uh, which is what the 9900s are, on the print side. You know, you want to be able to output what you can capture. For a number of years, a lot of the color experts were advocating using ProPhoto RGB, and a lot of people didn't see the need. But now, with printers like the Ultrachrome HDR 99 and 7900, there are colors that the printers can print that are outside of the gamut of Adobe RGB, let alone sRGB. The thing that I like about the 9900 is that in addition to a technical excellence, it also gives me a competitive excellence. I can produce a print that is unmatched in any other print technology and be able to produce it very quickly and very efficiently. Not only are they of the highest technical excellence and being able to produce basically the best possible print you could produce, uh, they also give you a competitive advantage in the industry that's getting much, much more competitive.